Welcome back, back to, to Out, Out of Controllers. Controllers. Time for me to fight a fucker. Yeah. Another thing I realized that I like about this game is, like, the thing about a lot of modern games yeah. is, like, the graphic. Like, they try and make the graphics look really cool, mm -hmm. which is, like, chill, but it dates the game very quickly. Yep. Because, like, a lot of games that, like, specifically are like, oh, look how cool and, like, modern are, and, like, more, how much more realistic our graphics look. Mm -hmm. Like, as soon as technology gets better, it's like, like, it's gonna oh. look super gross and outdated. Mm hmm And this game is not trying to do that. This game, oh, uh, what an asshole! Yep. By it's intentionally so making the game look really pretty and, like, as artistically, aesthetically pleasing as possible, it doesn't date itself because it's just a pretty game without relying necessarily on, like, the newest modern technology. Yep, pretty much. So, like, even if, like, the animation is weird or clunky, it works for the style of yeah. the art. Yeah, and, like, a lot of... Act actually, a lot of Nintendo games kind of do that kind of stuff mm -hmm. where it's, like, uh... This isn't the best looking, but it's so incredibly good, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and it's like consistently and like deliberately in a specific style. Mm hmm. We're, and yeah, I think that's a good point because it's like consistently Nintendo games that do that. Yep. They... Whereas like games made for like the PS or um, Xbox like try and look new. Yep. They try to look real as hell. And it's like, that, that's not necessarily what you want. Yeah, like, you... Yeah, like, Nintendo's aware of its hardware, hardware limitations, and it, like, really nicely works within those. Yeah. Also, I didn't know I could get those. Two cards, two pairs? Yeah. I didn't know that was a bonus I could get. That huh. makes things a lot easier. Yeah. Uh, Frickle Frack. Ugh. To to uh, just go with this, and then show you what a man <laughs> of the sky can do. Ooh, he is a cool mofo. I love him so much. He's a neat old man. He's not that old. He's in his thirties. I know, but he's a man. I didn't say he's like an old man. You called him an old man. I heard old man. Whether or not you I said, said it. neato man. Neato. Okay. I heard neat old. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. I see that. We have cleared up the problems, audience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Evidently, this man's not just old. <laughs> well, also, part of the problem is someone mumbles. I do mumble quite a lot. We're working on it. We got me doing tongue twisters now. Yeah, and really inconsistently. I can think of it. Yeah, which is not often. Uh, like, honestly, you just need to, like, remember to do it when you're showering. Because, I like, do. that is, you do that every day. And, like, that is a consistent thing that you can do and it's a good way to like pass the time when you're showering all right i'll have to work on that say cheeseburger <laughs> i hate that he says that because i have never seen a cheeseburger in these games right i'm like that's the one time where i was like why did you have him say that yeah he didn't need to say that yeah he could have said anything else like also like i love the legs on this bug thing yeah like i love i love the fucking attention to detail because it looks like kind of bejeweled mm -hmm. on the legs. Like it's pretty, but it's also very clearly a lethal thing. Yep. And like a lot of games don't take the time to make something really deadly look pretty. Yeah, that's true. And so like the fact that that much care and effort went into this thing. God, he's so, he's really basic. Yeah, he very much is. It's ridiculous like, how basic. It, like, the, the, the line, I won't let you get away with that, is just like, oh my, my god. god. Yep. Dragon like, uppercut. Like, we already have an anime protagonist. Oh. You do not need to out-anime protagonist the anime protagonist. I also have something to tell you. There are going to be more people. I, I mean, I believe it. Like, once you get at least one person that... Um, Max is at that's like more than the party capacity. Mm -hmm. It's like there's definitely gonna be more. Yeah, because like you like they want to give you options to like mix and match your team. Mm-hmm. 
Although, like, they all essentially do the same thing, so I'm just like, okay. I mean... Like, but, but it's, it's also, like, an interesting story thing to do. Yeah. Which is actually why I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, and, like, this game is really good about, like, taking the elements of gameplay and, like, making them make sense in the story. It, they definitely which do Which I well. love. Um, we'll give it to Liud because he needs it. And we will not throw bamboo <laughs> in his face, even though I want to. I mean, Liud's not a bad sort. He's just kind of annoying. Mm-hmm. He is not a bad sort. You're right. He's just, like, a little too earnest, mm -hmm. I think. A little too earnest for, like, a probably 20-year-old or so. Yeah, he's a little too earnest for a 20-year-old who is working within a really, like, <laughs> imperialistic empire. Yep. That is pretty much exactly like the Like, point. and someone who's in a fucking, like, bureaucratic position, too. Mm-hmm. Like, there's not room for that. Yeah. And, like, who's grown up in this empire, has been molded by it, and is, like, so obviously not comfortable with the way it's going. Yeah. And, and it's like, okay, bud. And it's like, why are you in the position you're in if that's the case? Yeah, why do you serve it in a civil function? Yeah, and, like, I understand, I kind of understand, like, wanting to make the world a better place and, like, working from the inside to try and do that. But the fact that he's so evidently uncomfortable, like, is just like, buddy. And also the fact that he kind of doesn't at Yeah, the point. yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't, like, stand up for what he believes in either. Yeah. Which is just like, okay, guess that's gonna be your life and position. Yeah. Here's a pretty flower. <laughs> I'm healed! It's so beautiful! I mean, it does heal him. I know! I was reading the description. Good. Blip and crystal shot. I love that. I love that it's an attack. And he eventually gets better ones, but I'm always like, I still love crystal shots so much. <laughs> It's pretty fun. Because it's just like he plays baseball into their face. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is it going to, like, fall off the edge? What? Yep. And it's dinky little, like, failure to walk legs? Yep. Yes. You'll be sorry for I cannot get over her, like, gold rocket go-go boots. Like, that is... You do not get much more Bond villain than that. It's true, you don't. <laughs> I think this... Iron Beetle 5, yeah. Because it's three times stronger than an Iron Beetle. Goodness. Yep. Three, three. <laughs> They're like, fuck! Where do you think you're going? Callus. Down. Down, boy. Oh, boy. So did the king survive? Yes. Okay. The king is alive. He's just in critical condition, probably. Yeah, he's not well, certainly. Yeah. Liud. What's up? <laughs> but also, I was shot by your homeland. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you and your homeland. <laughs> this is an interesting floor. Yeah, it is, actually. I can. Yeah. It's like your Given country's thing. <laughs> no, it's your fucking fault. I'm truly thankful. I say with the statements very <laughs> as. Are these your friends? I have another statement I need to make. That is like a thing my mom does constantly. Like she'll ask a question and then start talking about something else, and it's like, do you want me to answer the question? No, then don't ask it. Also, he just said, "My lord." Yeah. He's the king of his country. They were childhood buddies. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and so it's like, oh. Oh no. Yeah, and he basically forsook the Knight's Order. Because he was sense. like, I actually don't like that life. Yeah. But I'll answer to the best of my ability. <laughs> Do you have folk tales? <laughs> That's not what she's asking. Though. I know, but she's... it's kind of what it sounds like. Like, she is asking a very specific question, though. A little bit, yeah. 
Uh huh. Hmm. Are you sure of this? Yes. Yeah. Oh, are we playing Wind Waker again? When did that happen? God. <laughs> so, there are multiple seals. There's a seal on every island, and the Empire is trying to open those seals. Yeah. Gotcha. Because remember the shiny card we got from opening it? Yeah. They want all those cards. That makes sense. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> and then he's supposed to protect the shrine. Yeah. Folklore. Gotta do it's either cards. it's either they gotta catch them all or like they're trying to get all of the god cards from Yu-Gi-Oh. They're trying to get Exodia, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although, except instead of Exodia, it's Mercutio. Yeah, it's Mercutio from uh, Romeo and Juliet. Also, I feel really disappointed in myself because I just realized that the name Mercutio is a reference to um, the god Mercury, who is like a mercurial figure. And so he's, it's just literally describing what Mercutio does in the play. Wow. <laughs> How incredible. Mm -hmm. In the play Romeo and Juliet, I mean, of course. I, I also love that I'm not paying attention to this part because it's a lot of like, oh, oh. you have to defend the shrine and like, man, 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 Yeah, man. he's basically being like, they're basically being like, what the hell's he up to? And like, yeah. oh, we actually should stop him now? Yeah. He also looks so somber as shit. He does. It doesn't suit him. I want him to keep being my precious child. Yep. He Ooh. just said, I love you. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm going with you. Aw. <laughs> and everyone's like, are you going to come, Callus? I love it. Keep giving me the look already. I mean, that's what they're giving him. I know. I would it's too. It's great. Yeah, of course. Wouldn't miss it. Nah, I'm booking it. I mean. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, she's got some of his people's blood in her. It's possible. Ugh. Really? You seem to handle it well within the Empire. <laughs> I'm not a nice person. <laughs> you are not. Nice. Nifty. Getting cocky, are we, Gibari? Gibari? No, he's Gibari. always cocky. Gibari. I mean, what I like about Gibari is he is confident in his own abilities, like, at a reasonable level. Man. Like, he doesn't overestimate himself, but he doesn't downplay himself either. Like, if he says something's going to happen, he's going to make sure it happens. That's true. And I appreciate that. Mm hmm Anyway, next time on Out of Controllers... We're going to save! I'm sure I'm doing it for that now. And probably level and stuff. Yep. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye!